Hey everybody, the last video showing off the retro emulators and ending with rival schools ended kind of abruptly. I did not realize my camera had a 10 minute recording limit. So we're going to pick up with the last video in the series and show probably the biggest aspect of the gaming section, Steam. Now Steam has added big picture mode, which is basically a... Um, nice graphical way to view everything in your library. If you think Xbox or PS3, it's like that, but for your PC games, which is very nice. And as you can see, you've got a nice community feature. You can view all your friends, message them, things like that. View chat history, all that sort of stuff. But we're not here for that. We're here for the games, and obviously you can have a big old store where you can buy things, sales, um, spend a lot of money from your couch. But we're just going to go into the library. And if you heard that beep, that was actually the Beauty and the Beast DVD ripping. And that's another big bonus of having the Media Center and the games all in one. You can have a lot of things running at once. Um, while I was doing the emulator demo, I was also recording a movie and ripping that Blu-ray. And as you can see, it works just fine with your controller. You can play a variety of games. Um, I'm playing Critter Crunch right now, an awesome game. One of my favorite puzzle games. Oh, and I missed that puzzle up while we were recording it. Okay, I will restart it just to prove that I know what I'm doing. I swear, guys, I've played this game before. There we go. And also, another cool benefit, you noticed I had a lot of stuff unlocked, even though this is the first time I've actually played it on the Media Center, um, or I should say from the Media Center. And that's because Steam offers cloud saves, which is really nice. Um, if you have a PS3 that is premium, you know, things like that. So the next game we're going to go into real quick is Bastion another great title. And compared to um, PS3 and 360, sure you don't get the first party exclusives, obviously, but third party exclusives, when they're ported right, they look amazing on PC. Um, Need for Speed comes to mind, uh, Far Cry 3, the Bioshock series, the Batman series, things like that. Just continue then, because I don't remember where I was in this. Oh, looks like it just started. As you can see, games run smooth 60 frames a second in 1080p and HD. Now I know I've been showing you um, some hand-drawn games, so they aren't really the most graphically intensive, obviously. But what we're going to do is we're just going to skip real quick. I'm not playing this very well, but like I said, I'm not here to show off my gaming skills, I'm here to show off the equipment. But we're just going to quit here and show you another game, um, Batman Arkham City. This game looks quite nice when you set it to high. I've already set it to high. Um, I'm not logged into my Windows Live, so we're not going to save or anything. We're just going to play the opening sequence with Catwoman just as a good example. Let me center this a bit better, zoom in so you get more of the screen. And like I said, I know the video quality isn't the greatest because I'm recording my TV with a um pocket camera but you know it's a good indicator and the visual quality and sound quality is 99% of the time 
comparable, if not superior, to consoles. Um, there are times when you get a bad port, like Dirt 3 has horrible memory issues, and stuttering occurs about 30 minutes into every play through session you have, but you know, for the most part, games that run well look and play quite well. We're gonna skip that. Yes. I'm gonna skip the opening cutscene. Just so, you know, if you wanted to watch a playthrough, go watch a playthrough. I just wanna show you how it looks and plays visually. And I already lost on hard. You know, that's kind of the nature of how things go. That's probably the quickest video demo you've seen. <laughs> but we're going to skip to another video. Or another game, rather. I just want to show a lot of the different games, art styles, things like that, just to show how capable this is. Hopping in and out of games, it goes very fast compared to console. And sometimes you run into having to update things, or your camera goes wonky like that. But all in all, it's a very good experience playing on PC. Like I said, cross um, computer saves, being able to have one account for all your games instead of having to double dip or re-download games on whatever consoles you may own, as well as PC. And as you can see, the visual quality is quite nice. We're gonna do this real quick, and then we will move on to. I think we're gonna end it with XCOM. But I'll just take the time while we're doing these last few videos to talk about any issues I really had with the build. Um, putting the hardware together, no problem at all. It was very easy to do. The case accommodates every part really quickly. You aren't gonna find any obscure parts that you need to go get or anything like that. Um, setting up software, the only real issue I had was with Windows and uh, Media Center. Uh, the DRM for TV is kind of weird, but that's just how cable companies do it. And so we ran into some issues with that because we are feeding not directly to the TV, but to our um, AV receiver and then to our TV. Let me just make sure this camera doesn't move anymore while we're doing XCOM. My apologies for that. Let's exit out and go to XCOM with the last minute or so of the video we have. Alright. And yeah, um, setting up XBMC was no real trouble. Just taking the time to get all the metadata updated. And as you can see, that's an ongoing process. You're constantly going to have to do that. And that's just the nature of a media center. You become not only the guy who has to keep it running, but also the one who has to keep it updated and looking pretty. And basically, that's the only downside, but also the biggest benefit to a media center is it looks as pretty as you want to make it. And see, XCOM now wants us to use keyboard and mouse, so we'll just use keyboard and mouse. Just doing the tutorial real quick to show you guys. I'm gonna skip the opening video because we're running short on time. So we've got about 30 or so minutes left. I'm just gonna use it playing the opening. And this version of XCOM looks a lot better compared to consoles. I just want to point that out. But since these cutscenes take forever, I think we're going to have to stop the video here. My apologies, guys. But if there are any other videos or games you want me to play, leave a comment in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thanks!